All right, so once again, there's a new way of jailbreaking your phone. This one isn't exactly completely new. It's using the same method that I did in my first video, which is when you go to Safari and use the jailbreakme9.com method, except there's one added step to it. And as you know, this one was a, the certificate for this one was revoked. I mean, it did work for two days, I think, and then it got revoked. Uh, so they found a way around this. Uh, the only different step that you have to do from the first video that I did to this one is that once you click on download, it'll download the app, which is fine. After it's done downloading, when it goes into installing the app, you have to switch your device into airplane mode. You have to put it on airplane mode. And you have to do that before it's done installing or else it won't work and you'll have to do this over again. So that's the only difference. Now, um, the the other thing that's different about this is that your device is this method. Yes, it is no computer. You don't need a computer to do it, so you can just do it on your phone. That's very convenient. Uh, the thing that's kind of bad, though, is that this uh, jailbreak is continuously going to be communicating with the PP servers to try to get new certificates. Uh, because Apple's been going around and revoking certificates left and right so they've come up with a way of just having the device check the servers for new certificates if a new certificate is found it will auto update so then in theory you could have your jailbreak for a long time and if your phone turns off or whatever you can reapply your jailbreak without any issues uh, the bad part is that your phone is going to be communicating with the servers throughout the day randomly and that's going to take a little bit of power you might not even notice it but I mean it's just you know little things um, it so this it, it, all, it all depends on you so there's three methods of jailbreaking there's this one then there's the using the PP assistant 5.0 on the PC which is the Chinese version then there's the Pangu English version. So it's basically up to you. I have uh, both the English and the Chinese working on two, two of my devices. I haven't had any issues yet. Um, if for any reason your device turns off or you purposely uh, turn it off, battery dies, or some glitch or some error, I'm gonna link a video how to get uh, the P app back on your uh, device so you can restart it so you can get Insidia because if your device does turn off or you lose power or anything like that you will have to reapply the jailbreak in order to get into Insidia or else Insidia is going to keep on crashing it it'll keep on crashing or if it if you have some glitch or error where it opens up but there's nothing there then you're gonna have to reapply the jailbreak so I'll have a link to that um, other than that, this is really easy tweak, uh, or really easy jailbreak. So let's basically do it. So all I have to do is open Safari. Uh, first, make sure that uh, um, to be on the safe side, I always do a, um, a restore on my devices. So I restored this one again. This time I actually used the phone. So this is the first time that I actually just used the restore from the phone. Normally I use iTunes because iTunes will get rid of everything. So if you back up everything, I would just use iTunes, especially since uh, you can use it to download 9.3.3 uh, and not worry about it being updated yet. So, you know, yeah. So this time I did just use the um, settings in the settings to restore of the actual phone. So we're going to hopefully it works out. So this is the first time I'm doing it this way. Um, in theory, it should be just like uh, you trying it out on your phone without restoring. I, I, I restore it because it just, I don't, after restoring it, I don't have any issues. So it works out for me great. Other people do have issues here and there and all that. Uh, what I would do though is turn everything off. I, I, I don't know if it matters or not, but I sign out of my um, Apple account. I turn off everything like location services, the fine, make sure definitely to turn off them um, the Apple Find Me phone thing. You don't want to have that on. Um, basically, have nothing except uh, Wi-Fi 
or your data, whichever you use. That's the only thing that I have activated on my uh, on my device right now is the Wi-Fi. All right, so first thing you do is open Safari, go to the website. I'll have that in the bottom in the links. It's uh, jailbreakme9.com. Once you get to that website, you'll see here. They even have little instructions and everything. Um, now, from here, all you have to do is click on download. It's going to ask you, would you like to install? Click yes, or click install. And then see how it's loading? Let it load. And before it installs, turn on the airplane mode. And that, that's it. That's all you have to do. That's the only difference. You just kind of have to be a little bit quick. Like I said, if you have a fresh copy of, uh, if you freshly restored your device, it's always going to be on the second page. Um, for other people, depending on how many pages you have, I really don't know. It might be still on the second page. If it's not on the second page, it would be on your last page. So, yeah. Anyways, so like you saw, all I had to do was airplane mode. Then once again, the next step would be go to settings, go all the way down, or yeah, general, then go all the way to down, device management, click on that, the certificate, click on trust, trust, there you go. Now we go to the PP app, open it up, always click OK for notifications. All right. When you're here, all you're gonna have to do is push the center. It's gonna give you this screen, which is basically saying, uh, shut your screen down. After you shut your screen down, if it did work, like a couple of signs that it did work correctly, would be that it would normally pop up with the storage screen So you're gonna see like this message right here. Then you have to wait and wait until it respring's. So you're gonna have to wait. Now the fact that it's taking this long is a very good sign. This is my eighth attempt at this. And now it's respringing because it won't uh, open up. So now that it's done, let's open it up. We should have Cydia. And there we go, we have Cydia. Let's load Cydia up. Okay, like I said, I tried it, think of a total of eight or nine times. It failed every time. The first try was without restoring my device. And since it didn't work, and it was the first time a gel or a jailbreak has failed in a while, because the other methods that I use don't fail or have never failed me, I was like, you know what? I'll just go back to my normal, and uh, I did a uh, restore it like brand new. Like I backed it up, I restored it, tried it again, didn't work, didn't work, didn't work, till like eight, seven or eight tries later. Here we go. We finally have it. And uh, down here you can see that it's on uh, Cydia, my iPad mini. So yeah, so this is the other method. And like I said, um, the benefit of having this method is that since it communicates with the PP servers constantly, you will have a refresh, um, a fresh new certificate. The bad part is the same thing that makes it good that it does communicate with the PP servers throughout the day and constantly randomly. Uh, like I said, the guy on Reddit, um, he noticed uh, there was rat on, a, on his router, his home router, he noticed that there was requests and stuff like that for the for like the his iDevice contacting the PP server. And then he looked into it and then he realized that there's been a little communication going around. And then like the next day after that, this tweak comes out um, so I mean it's up to you if you don't like this method there is two other ways there's using the 
um, the the PP uh, assistant for the PC, the 5.0 one, or there is the impactor. So I have both of those. Um, I have the links to both of those in the comments. So I mean, hopefully this helped. If it didn't, sorry. If it did, great. Uh, please like and share and subscribe. Um, like I said, with this one, you have to keep on trying and trying and trying. It might not work. It might not work. You have to keep on trying.